everyone. My name is Missy Benson. I am from Richmond, Virginia. I am a landscape architect. I've been designing playgrounds for over 25 years. I have a really fun job. For five years, I've been working for a company where I've been doing a lot of research. I get to do a lot of observation of play. I've been able to put together an exhibit with the Design Museum Foundation out of Boston, where we travel with a, an exhibit in four cities. And it really inspires me to see the Red Line exhibit outside. It, it's phenomenal. But we're turning this play exhibit into a traveling exhibit. We'd love to chat with you about that later. I also wear lots of hats where I work with Kaboom in DC. We put up a lot of community build playgrounds. Be happy to chat with you about that as well. Today I'm here to talk to you about Magical Bridge. Next slide, please. Next. Magical Bridge. Maybe you've heard of it before. Probably not, because it's in Palo Alto, California. It's the first playground of its kind. And if you've ever developed a guide or suggestions and put it in print, and you wish that everybody would follow this guide, it turns out that this playground 3,000 miles away did just that. So we've put together an inclusive guide, how to design an inclusive playground. It's been out for about 10 years, really trying hard to show people what's the best practice here. A year and a half ago, I met this wonderful mom who designed and built this playground in Palo Alto who used all of our concepts of the Inclusive Design Guide. And, and here we are, thinking all the same together. And she's doing it on her coast, we're trying to do it on our coast. And what's so amazing about this playground is that it receives more than 25,000 visitors a month in a time when we see declining play in every city across the country, declining outdoor time for play. And why is it so important for children to be outside and play? I'm sure you can shout out some reasons. Why is it important to have people outside playing together? Exercise. Give me another one. Teamwork. Happiness. Happiness. Teamwork. Joy. Creativity. Creativity. Discovery. Discovery. All these wonderful things. Health for life. Advocates, play advocates for life we can create when we bring children together at an early age in a space where they learn from each other and play together and engage. So what happened? Why is this working so well? This playground that a mom built because she had two daughters, one with significant development delays, who knew, who researched that her child could do so much better with vestibular stimulation that comes from swinging and swaying. These vestibular simulations we can get at an early age can influence us for the rest of our lives if we get it in time. In her community, she could not find a swing to accommodate her child who didn't have the physical ability to hold a chain. She was traveling 45 minutes and paying $150 to an occupational therapist for her child to swing. And she said, I must do something about this. My two children can't play together. My family can't go to a park together. So she developed Magical Bridge. And upon opening just a few years ago, she received a lot of attention from all over the world, saying, how can you bring this formula to us? This is a very expensive thing. It's way up there. It's millions of dollars for the land, for the fencing, for everything we need. So we met and we thought, how can we work together to bring this model to everyone for a more affordable solution? It's pretty simple. It's a very simple, simple formula. And it's designing by zones. And, it, and so we have spinning zones, we have swinging zones, and we, we take these activities, we group them together, with different challenge levels. It's extremely simple, but we need to increase this pattern for every play area that we start designing. Next, please. Why do we have spaces like this? They're called retreat spaces. We have this increasing rise of children with autism in our society. These are the kind of retreat spaces we need. Next, please. We need spaces for adults and children to play together. We need adult-sized swings. We need more spaces that this can happen. 
we need to create these memories for young children and young families so they continue to want to be outside. So this is lifelong, lifelong, 15 seconds. This is an example of the design guide. We are revising it. I am looking for people to be on this committee to help us revise it. If you're interested, please let me know. Next, we want to engage all children, all abilities, all ages. Next. And we want to develop similar designs such as this to as many playgrounds as we can. Thank you very much.